runway incidents. October is Dental Hygiene Month, and this Wellness Wednesday, we're taking a closer look at the connection between oral health and overall health. Dr. Bob Luando is a board-certified periodontist and the executive director of Specialty Benefits Professional Services at Blue Cross Blue Shield of Massachusetts. Thanks so much for joining us, Dr. Luando. Thanks, Rachel. I really appreciate being here. Of course. Well, first, can you tell us how oral health can impact our overall health? So oral health and overall health are related. What happens in the mouth can have an effect on what happens in the rest of the body. When a person has poor oral health, that leads to inflammation. That's due to plaque and calculus building up in the mouth. And what it does is it makes the management of chronic conditions that much more difficult. Rachel, the mouth mirrors what the rest of the body is doing. So if you have an oral infection, it's more difficult to achieve good oral health. So what are some signs that may be early indicators of a more serious oral health concern? Well, one of the more common ones is do your gums bleed when you brush or floss? If they bleed, that's a sign that there's some gum infection going on and you really want to make sure you treat it. Do you have bad breath? Is it pain in the teeth of the gums? If you have pain in the teeth, that can indicate that there's a cavity going on. It can indicate that there's a cracked tooth. Can you explain the connection between good oral care and reducing the risk of diseases like heart disease or even diabetes? So what we see clinically and what the research shows is that inflammation seems to make the regulation of, of diabetes more difficult. Can you also share some tips that you would recommend for adults or you know even children to help improve their oral health? Sure. Well, one of the basics is you want to brush. You want to brush regularly for two minutes, twice a day. Use a soft toothbrush. You want to floss because flossing gets in between the teeth where the bristles of a toothbrush won't get in. You want to see a dentist every six months or even sooner than that if you're having pain. All right, Dr. Bob Luando, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.